Hey, what's up, everybody? As we've all started to come used to these Lua discs being a bit of a way of life, I thought that I would show you that there is a few little tweaks that you can do to make this look so much better. So for the very first thing that you can improve is the text. So the text that you see located down there at the bottom, and I'll just go here into information where you can see it maybe a little bit better. So first off, that is not in my language and I cannot read that. So what would be nice would be to have text there for the title that said start jailbreak, for example. And let's also get this image replaced with something a bit more appropriate. Now, what you will need to do is to go ahead and get yourself jailbroken. So I am using Gold Hen, and I'm obviously already jailbroken here, is to go down here to Server Settings and just make sure there is a check mark in that Enable FTP Server. We're going to need your IP address in just a moment, so just go ahead and make sure there's a check in that. And if there isn't one in it, then it will shut itself down. But if you turn it back on, right there is the IP address. I do need to jot down. Now, what you will need to do is to get items flow installed. Now, you can get this from the download links inside of the description. And the way that you just install that is just come back up here to Gold Hand and then go to Debug Settings and then go over here to Package Installer. And if you have that PKG on a USB drive in this instance, it would pick it up and get it installed. So the first thing that we're going to do here today is we're going to go ahead and run Items Flow Game Manager. Now the version I'm using is 01.07 and right there is all of the items that we have installed. So let's go ahead now and let's find our Lua game and then let's scroll down to where it says change app name to press OK here. And we're just going to remove everything that it had in the name. And we're just going to go ahead and type in here, start jailbreak. And then we'll press done here. And we will need to reboot for that to show up. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to restart. Okay, and right there it is. It now states start jailbreak. And by the way, this does not in any way, shape, or form mess up the exploit from running. I know there was a couple of warnings about it, but so far I haven't had any problems whatsoever. Okay, so now what about the app icon? Well, those of you that were paying close attention probably noticed that when we were in items flow, there was this icon that I have highlighted right here, which says change icon PNG. Now, if you do click on this, it will provide a file system where you can specify a path to a 512 by 512 PNG. Now, what I found pretty difficult with this was obviously finding a couple of cool icons to use. And then secondly, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if there was an app that already had some? Well, the good news is, is that there is an app that has some, and let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So right around one hour ago, Master-S released a tool that does exactly what I was looking for, and that was to change the app image. So what we can do with this is, is that we can supply our IP address and then the FTP port, select the game, and there is a couple of different images that you can select from. So this is definitely one of the easiest ways to get a game icon updated. So what we will want to do is to come right here, go ahead and download this application, and then you will need to unzip it. This is a 7z file. Once unzipped, your folder contents will look just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and run the executable here. So I've went ahead and added in my PS4's IP address. And the port should always be 2121. So let's press connect. And as you can see right here, it shows we are connected. And now it says select a game to change the icon. So here is where there is a whole bunch of different title IDs. 
And if you don't know which one your game goes to, if we switch back over to the PlayStation 4, there is this text that you can add which contains that title ID. Now you can turn that on by simply going over here to Gold Hen and then going to where it says Cheat Settings and then going down to Show Title ID. And in my instance, I like to show both the title ID and the app version. So right there is what I have mine set to. So if I go back to my Lua game, it's going to be CUSA19556. So let's switch over to the PC. And right there it is. And right there is the icon. So now I can come right here. And there is three icons that I can select. I could select this one right here, which says jailbreak in it. We can go to the second one here. And it says jailbreak in it there. And then we've got a third one that just says gold hen. I think I'm going to take gold hen on this one. So we are going to select change app image. And this dialog box just popped up. And basically, you can see it just started an FTP session. And it included all of the necessary files. So we can press any key to continue. And now let's switch over to the PlayStation 4. Okay, so I just rebooted the console here. And let's see if we now have our new icon. And yes, we do. Wow, that looks a whole lot better. So now I've got one that says text of start jailbreak now. And we have the gold hen icon in there. So since I rebooted, that does mean that I need to get re-jailbroken again. So let's go ahead and try this thing out once and for all. So here we go. There is our PS4 Auto Lua Labs 12.02. And bam, Gold Hen is back up and running on this. Now, I did want to note here that while I have done that because I have a physical Lua game, that you can actually change the app icon on the demo. For example, if you wanted to do that, especially with the very popular Hamadashi Creative demo that I typically use all the time on the channel, and I know other people have been using that one as well. So thanks very much for watching this video, and please subscribe to the channel. I really depend on folks subscribing and liking my videos because that's really the only way the YouTube algorithm will pick up on my channel. But thank you for any of your help that you can do whatsoever or just by watching my videos. That's enough too. See you on the next one, Michael. Ow!